let's look at step three. When we're graphing a rational function, step three is to find the x-intercepts. And how do you find an x-intercept? To find an x-intercept, you set y equal to zero. So we're going to plug in 0 for y. Right there. And then we're going to have 4x over x squared minus 4. So let's go ahead and solve. I'm going to multiply both sides by the LCD. x squared minus 4 on the right hand side x squared minus 4 on the left hand side. 0 times anything is just 0. On the right hand side, these two binomials cancel out, leaving me with 4x. One more step to get my x by itself. I'm going to divide both sides by 4. 0 over 4 equals 0. These 4's reduce. So 0 equals x, x equals 0. So my x-intercept, when I plug in a 0 for y, I get a 0 for x. Okay, now we already found this when we did our y-intercept, but we have to check to make sure there's not more than one x-intercept. Let's look at the next step.